Welcome to today's video everyone. We are at a Japanese junkyard, like a real pick and pull junkyard. These are kind of super rare in Japan. In the mainland, they don't really exist. The only kind of junkyards that you'll see like this, strictly only for recycling cars that are all gonna get crushed. There's no pick and pull kind of thing. You can't just walk in there and buy parts. Um, it's strictly for recycling and crushing cars. So this is kind of really rare and really unique and I'm super excited to get in there and have a look amongst the stacks of cars to see what we're gonna find. So. Let's head in there and see what we can find in this Japanese junkyard. So we are now up the back and this is, I guess, the, this is the first real junkyard that I've seen here in Japan. So this is kind of special. Ever? Ever, yeah, like these really? don't really exist in the mainland and if they do, they're really far, far like out. in the sticks. There's like enough room really, really city. far and they don't let people in. They're not for selling parts. Mm -hmm. It's purely for recycling and crushing cars. Pick so yeah, this is literally a pick and pull. So that's super cool. I wonder if there's gonna be like any cool like Japanese gems in here. So we're gonna, hunt around, see what we can find, but man, the the damage of the rust from Okinawa here is real. Look at this thing. Obviously these cars have just like sat abandoned somewhere and eventually like someone's just, you know, asked someone to pick them up and take them away, but it's just crazy to see how much rust is on some of these things. Oh, wow, there's a crown athlete there. That's kind of cool. Bunch of Honda Odysseys and stuff. I wonder if we're gonna find any cool Japanese, like, you know, JDM sports cars. Ah, uh, we just spotted one. Dude, this thing was in a wreck. So this is a JZX100 chaser by the looks of it. By the, I mean, he tried to drift or something because that's a pole right there, damaged the chassis main rail and everything this, bent that everything all up. So this thing's already been stripped though. Well, I see a catalytic converter. I don't know if that's uh, for the guys with JCI. Ah, this is not for this car. There's a whole like different engine sitting up in there. Someone just chucked the motor in there, I think, because this is going to get recycled. Look at the jumper leads, free jumper leads, just <laughs> chilling on the top. They're American jumper leads too. See how beefy they are? Those don't exist in Japan. The like clamps. Oh look, we still got an upper arm. Dude, I go through these upper arms so much on my um, chaser. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Stripped out JZX100. Oh, we got a JZX90 Mark II here. That's kind of cool. Taking a quick moment to remind you guys, well actually not remind you guys, but tell you about our annual spring sale. Um, actually, I don't think this is annual. It's just because it's spring and starting to warm up and we still got lots of hoodies in stock. So if you haven't gotten yourself a hoodie yet, head to semit.net and use the coupon code SPRING for an epic discount on any one of our hoodies and pieces of clothing or anything in stock. I'm looking to clear everything out. It is currently uh, nearly end of financial year as well, so I need to get rid of stock entirely. So yeah, uh, SR20 hoodies, we still have a bunch of the new, these are like the new design printed ones. So uh, they're a lot bigger and a different kind of print style. So these turned out really, really good. Um, we got the Ichigo Zoku ones. We still got some sizes in these, not all sizes, but some. So you can still get some. We got the SR20 flags. We've got the 1JZ hoodies, 1JZ shirts, SR20 shirts, build the dream shirts. And we have mystery shirts back. I think in all sizes too. So, you know, everyone loves a good mystery. Who knows what you're going to get? So jump on all of that, guys. Once again, link down in the description, samit.net, support your bro. Massive announcement coming, I think in a week now. And this is all going to go towards that. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is samit.net, grab yourself something, help us clear out all of this stock, coupon code, spring, don't sleep, don't miss out. Please, we need, I need to get rid of all of this. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the video. This thing's getting squashed by, what is that? Some old kind of hatchback. So sad. This is a 2.5, so this is probably a 1J. It's definitely been sitting outside for a while. A lot of stuff missing out of the fuel tank already too. Oh man, this thing's been stripped out. There's an auto. Ooh, ooh. Oh. What was that? Uh, engine, oh, yes. engine lugs. Uh, but sorry, uh, wheel, wheel lugs. ETC card reader. Hmm. Not bad. There's a bunch of stuff like this here. Is it empty? Is there an engine in there? Oh, no, nah, there's lucky, nothing. Uh, the emblem's yeah, still in the button. The grill's there, still yeah. good. What's in here? Spare radiator. I wonder if this had 2J. Hold this up. This was the engine plate. I'm just trying to see it. Engine plate says JZX90 1JZ GTE. There you go. There you go. The GTE. Yeah, oh, the twin that's turbo. Getting, that's getting scrapped out of here. Look at the grill on this. That's pretty cool. Oh, that grill is cool. What is this? It's like a old Datsun or something? They, uh, Very is rusted. Carina? No. No, I don't think so. I think the S stands for something. This is cool. There's a little old uh, K truck in here. 
<laughs> this is crazy. I, it's actually really cool that they're letting us walk around in here too. Like they just let everyone do this? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's like literally like a pick and pull. Oh yeah, we got a sprinter, like a, what is this? Oh, someone jumped on the roof of that. Oh no, probably a car was just sitting on it. There's a Toyota. This is like the, what, the AE 100 or 110 or something. I don't know much about them after the Hachirokus. It's kind of cool, looks pretty, uh, pretty uh, like untouched to be honest. It's just all really rusty. The hood's been popped. It's been sitting here for a while. See, is there an engine in this one? Yeah, not sure about that motor, but sat for a while, that's for sure. It's pretty rusty. <laughs> Leave that there. See what else we can find. It's so cool, like, to, to be able to see, like, a real Japanese pick and pull, like, junkyard. Don't really know where to go. It's a Subaru R2, Geno's, bunch of K-car stuff. I imagine there'll be a lot here. A lot of people just recycle those. It's a Pajero. That's kind of cool. A few Mazdas over here. I don't know too much about these. This one. Kind of just goes on and on at the back here. A lot of these cars, I guess, come from people who... Uh, um, what did you find? Another K-Series. Is it a good one? Check it out. Oh, okay. This is the same as the one that... K24. Ah, there you go. K24. K24A? Yeah. There it is. Oh, there. yeah. It's from the Absolute. Let's know about so, that. Yeah, it's Odyssey. The Absolute comes with the K24A VTEC. And the K24A is, I guess, like... It's a pretty like, cool minivan. Is yeah. it? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's got a VTEC and a minivan. <laughs> okay. A I mean, I, is this, like, the one that everyone wants to turbo? Uh, the K24, yeah. K24A? Because I know there's like different iterations of it, right? Like well, the A's in and In Japan, the... I believe they're all A's from what one of my friends out here that is big into Hondas. The okay. K20A. Back in the States, we have like the A2, the A3. Okay. Here, they're all K20As, and I'm pretty sure K24A. Don't quote me. But the differences are in the intake manifolds and the uh, the VTEC system and everything. And the VTEC. Yeah. So I guess this is the, the good one Internals. to get? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one, uh, intriguing. Okay. Very intriguing. Yeah, I don't know much about my Honda stuff, so I've, I've always been curious about, like, you know, K-Swap stuff, so it'd be cool. Especially a lot of people doing rear-wheel drive K-Swaps now, so it's kind of going to be interesting to see how that all goes, but yeah, I don't think I've seen anyone do that in Japan, so that'd be kind of cool. I'm not seeing any, uh, any more, like, you know, Japanese sports car kind of stuff here anymore, just a bunch of, like, family cars and whatnot. A lot of these cars... Oh, you go. Got a... Was that a 350Z, I think? Yeah. Um... A lot of these uh, guys from bases and stuff, they obviously get cars and whatnot, and then when they get uh, told to leave or they, you know, get shipped out and everything, they have to get rid of their car. And if it's, you know, not that much of an expensive car, because no one wants to spend big money, like if you're just like a normal like family or normal dude out here, you're not really into like Japanese like sports cars and racing and drifting. You kind of just get like, you know, one of these for like a couple thousand bucks. And then when you're done with it, you just get a junk because it's cheaper and you don't have to like worry about all the paperwork and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think I think this is kind of it. I think this is kind of where it ends. There's a bunch of other stuff here. I think we're gonna go check out the engine room in a little bit, but still kind of cool to see all this. What is this? What, like, everything's covered in plastic. That's insane. That would feel so weird. Like, you'd slip off that. That's That would be so weird. That's such a bizarre seat color. Ew, what is that? <laughs> There's a free vacuum cleaner in that one, though. Noah. Yeah, okay. That was kind of cool. Oh, this X-Trail, is that... Is this the one that had the SR in it? I don't think so, right? No, nah, did not. Not at all. <laughs> okay, all right. And this guy's uh, just using the forklift to work on it. I don't know if that's the safest thing in the world, but, you know, what they do in Japan isn't always the safest, I find. <laughs> I don't think workplace health and safety exists here in Japan. No. When you see, like guys using a forklift for a uh, a lift like no, that? No, not at all. I mean, just look at the cars. Oh, that's true. And they're just Sometimes letting us all walk stack. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you true. You can walk around. There's ladders everywhere. You can just hop up and... Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, well, well this looks like a like a good steal. You going to pick it up? I think so. All right. I, I think I'm grabbing it for okay. uh, my build back home. 
MR2 I'm jealous, man. K-Spy. I wouldn't mind getting like a, a free K20, like a, a spare K, K24 or something just to keep on the side if I ever do want to do a K-Swap. What about a K-Swap and a K-Vehicle and a K-Car? Oof, that sounds like a lot of work. Fabrication in Japan. Yeah. Not, not the easiest thing That's to true. do. We're just in the engine section right now, having a look at all the engines that they're pulling. These all get recycled and shipped overseas and sold and stuff. And guys, look at this like lineup here of just K engines. All these K20s, K20As here. Crazy. Look at them all. There's some Nissan motors up there too. And then up here, a whole bunch more of some K20s, I think. Just all lined up. It's crazy. Absolutely insane. I don't know what these motors are, but they're all the same one. Like just non-stop, all stacked up repeatedly. Some old Nissan, kind of Nissan engine. I'm not sure what they're used for. What is this, a VQ? VQ25 here. Looks a bit, like, look, 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 look. That's a, what is that? A, isn't that like a D16 or a D15 out of a, a Civic? Right here, what's this? You got a B-Series? No, no, it's like a D-Series, I think. Like a D16? Yeah, that looks... Or a D15? That looks like the one that I have in my Accord. Right? Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's a lot of Honda motors here. And this one, very cool. We got a K24A. I think this is a sought after motor for like K swaps. So, I wonder how much all this would be like worth here in Japan. We might have to ask. This one over here, this is some VQs over here. There's another VQ here. And then like over here is a couple more. Got a VQ25 there as well. Another VQ here. And this is an SR, DE. Very corroded and oxidized. NA, of course. Transmission still on it, manual. Might actually still be worth something and good. That is so rusted though. Almost looks like it's been sitting under the ocean. I have no idea what engine that is. There's so many like really old engines here that I've just never seen. Another VQ. There's an all-wheel drive trans here. This must have come out of some kind of four-wheel drive over here. Mitsubishi, maybe like a Pajero motor. Whoa, look at that diff and axle, that's huge. V6, there's so many engines here. It's crazy to look at, like the stack over there is just insane. Crazy. Hmm. Over here, it just continues as well. More engines. Oh, uh, more K's over here too? So K, no, no, uh, like K car engine. Oh, dude, there's a Beams. What, Beams 2000? What is this, huh? That's a one, that's no, that's like a, that's a really weird one. Yeah. Is that a straight six or something? I don't know what that is, that's tiny. Isn't that like what's in all the taxi cars over here and stuff? And uh, also like your basic Altezza. Altezza, oh, okay, there you go. That makes sense. What is this thing, that looks old. Little, these little K truck engines, little turbos on there. Uh, we gotta do a turbo job on the K car when we get home. I'm not looking forward to that, but. Look at the size of the turbo on this one. Yeah, they're tiny, I know. And I gotta fix that. <laughs> I don't even know like if it's gonna come off. It's gonna be so corroded down there. More stuff over here. Dude, what is this thing? That looks insane. Is that an engine? I can't even tell what this is. That's nuts. But yeah, this is all pretty cool. I'm gonna talk to the guys and see if we can somehow steal this K24. I might have a use for it in the future. I think it'd be dumb if I didn't pick this up. So we'll talk to the guys and see what we can do, but that would be kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, I got bad ideas with that. Let's see how much they can do for it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get it to the mainland. I'll figure something out with someone here, but K24A, you just don't come across those that much anymore. So I think that's probably something we need to pick up. Oh man, look, even more K motors here. Look these K20As, I think these ones are cool. Yeah, so many of them. It's like K heaven. And up here is the death corner. This is where they stack up cars and then this guy goes to town and just crunches them up. Very envious of that job. That looks like a total- Yeah, that, that would, I feel like the person that has that job would never be stressed. No, you it doesn't matter. smiling. You're right? just... You know what I mean? Like just no matter what happened yeah. in his life or that day or that week, like he would just never be stressed or frustrated because he just takes it all out on cars. <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, just pick them up, drop them from yeah. like 15 feet in the air, and then just start going, going to town on them. I also great. would never want to make an enemy out of one of these guys, uh, because I mean, it'd be so easy for him yeah. to just like, you know, put you to sleep, put you inside one of the cars, <laughs> and then just, yeah, you disappear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty morbid. <laughs> Pretty morbid, yeah. 
Up here, they've got a, a Z. This one doesn't look like in, like it's in too bad shape. This would be a really good like beater for someone, I think. And before I say anything else, let's just rotate around here and triple check. But yeah, no, it's it's pretty straight, honestly. This would be a really good beater for someone to get into drifting. If like there's nothing too wrong with it, this would be pretty I mean, cheap. There's plenty of VQ, VQs yeah. right over there. Yeah, true. There's a lot of parts here for this here. This would be so good. Uh, I guess they've already started taking a lot of parts off it, but that's a shame. Bummer. Looks like it had some kind of custom wing here. Home center. Yeah, make man special. Yeah, that's funny. You gonna look at this Odyssey? See if there's another K engine? Oh, look, yeah, what's that, K24. Yeah, it's the 24, but it's not the absolute model. So that van over there was the absolute. So what's the difference? Like, there's, like, uh, there's gotta be some difference between like this one and the red top. The red oh. top one, I think, is the one that everyone wants to turbo swap. Mm -hmm. They have like more rotation or something yeah. in the... I think the valve train's a little bit better. Yeah. Maybe the, the bottom end's a little okay. bit sturdier. That makes sense. And then the intake manifold's a little bit bigger. More power. Okay, better, I guess. Just like the K20A, you have the yeah. K20A in the Integra Type R, mm. which is the very sought after one, but then you have the K20A in like the Integra base. Yeah, but there's like A2, 3, or 4 or something, Not in right? Japan. Oh, from what really? I was told. In America and elsewhere, yeah. K20Z1, K20A2. Oh, K3. okay. But here it's K20A. You got to look at the intake manifold with designator. Mm. It's like RRC. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, I want to have a Very quick confusing. squiz in here. It is confusing. There's Very so confusing. much. Like, because it's like, oh, it's a K20. Yeah, that's the engine I want. And it's like, nope, that's not. You gotta find the right K20. You gotta find the right, right K20. K20. I guess over here is where they pull down like smart cars because there's just stacks and stacks of like batteries and all that kind of stuff in here. We didn't ask for permission to go in here, so I'm not gonna go in, but. K24 in the smart car. Dude, that would be death trap, but <laughs> that would be cool. I don't know if it would fit. Like you couldn't put it in the front, it'd have to sit in the rear, like east, west in the rear. You'd have it right behind your seat, but that's where your seat goes. That would be cool, I'd like to see that. <laughs> be stupid. Hilux Surf up the top there, just noticed that, that's cool. But yeah, I think that's kind of it. This is my first Japanese junkyard. Well, that was pretty cool to check out, but apparently Okinawa has a bunch of these little junkyards, so we're gonna go head to another one really close by and see what else we can find. Now, you weren't kidding that they're really close to each other, were you? No. It's literally like that, that building over there <laughs> is literally the other junkyard we were just in. So, looks like this thing's got pretty much much of the same as the other stuff. Doesn't look like they have a bigger yard, but a lot of K cars. Man. It opens up a little bit. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah, it does. Wow. It's so cool that we can just walk around in here and check this stuff out. Dude, so many K cars. Oh, wow. This is crazy. I, it's insane that junkyards in Japan are like on concrete floors. Mm -hmm. What? Yo, what is that, G like an FTO or a GTO? GTO. GTO? What? Super rare. That's kind of cool, yeah, damn. Yeah. That's sick. I had a 3000 GT. Back in the day? Uh, yeah, not long ago, I actually just got rid of it, but. Wow, yo. JDM Ferrari right here. Yeah, it is, literally, poor man's Ferrari. This thing, unfortunately though, sat out on the ground for a while in Okinawa. It's a little bit rusty, not too, too bad, but. Oh yeah, front's pretty messed up. A little bit of rust. Okay, maybe a lot of rust. <laughs> Not too bad, yeah, still got the motor in so there. So the uh, 6G72 mm. is up there with the VG30 <coughs> DETT is like- Yeah, because you can get the twin turbo one. I have so many little cuts in my hand from working on that engine. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it is a pain. It's, it's like you change spark plugs, drop the motor. The GTO 3000 GT, GT guys out there know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, there's no space in these. Even the, I mean, the non-turbo ones are a little bit easier to work on, I think I heard, but the turbo ones are nightmare. Super cool car though, definitely. All wheel drive, V6, twin turbo, super sick. Three, three liter V6? Yeah, no, can't go wrong with that. Honestly, back in the day, that was like epic. Well, the uh, the GTO, the twin turbo, mm. the VR4 had uh, active aero. So oh really, it would move? Yeah. That's cool. The front lip and the rear. There you go, That's I didn't even know that. Yeah, active aero was really cool. I, mean, I feel like yeah. that that would probably be broken on everyone in existence Most right time, now. Yeah. You, you rarely find them with active yeah. error working. But back in the day, in the 90s, early 90s, that active was, error was a technology. big thing. Yeah, it was. I remember like some of like the older Skylines had active error, like front spoilers and stuff. Like the DRs? Yeah, like the, yeah. yeah, yeah right. Super cool stuff. Very hard to find any of that stuff still working and functioning though. All right. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Let's keep seeing what else we can find in here. Super cool. It's very... Oh, look, an Alteza. Yeah. 
Yeah, this one's definitely seen better days. It's pretty rusted out. Pretty stripped out interior-wise too. Um, six speed motor's speed still in there. Yeah, this is a straight six, I think. Yeah, the G, what is it? The the G something FE? Yeah, the 1GFE. Yeah, that, that, that's like a small straight six cylinder, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, still pretty cool. It's crazy to just see like, like my memories of like, you know, junkyards in Australia and like the USA pick and pulls and like seeing it here in Japan, how different it is. Like the different type of cars and stuff here. Yeah, literally, like, <laughs> that's literally the crushing spot. <laughs> it is. And these guys probably like, oh, I don't want to deal with this car, so they just throw it over the fence at them. <laughs> just, we're done yeah. <laughs> yeah, there used to be a lot more cars here. I... Yeah, I'd say they just did like a huge clean, clear out. Maybe the boat was in town. Yeah, yeah. Had to get everything out of here. I think all of these get like shipped overseas and stuff to like get recycled and melted down and whatnot. There's a Mazda Scrum. Did that's kind of cool. If I remember correctly. Ah, I never had one. I borrowed one. Oh, right. Elbow let me borrow one once. It's got a turbo though, right? Yes. They're kind of, they, they, they don't handle great. <laughs> it doesn't look like it would. <laughs> Another one there. They're like everywhere here. Whoa, this actually goes pretty far back. That's kind of cool. A little mirror. Gino. High jet, old high jet. These things uh, would do the whole front thing if you wanted to, you know, the reverse, what do you call it, jackknifing? Uh, every Mando. wagon. Oh, this is an every wagon. These are really good because they have better gearing for highway rolling. So you don't burn as much fuel. fuel. Yeah, literally. Yeah, for real. Oh, dude, look. It's cool, it's got these little Okinawa things on the, on the mirror here. Hang on, hang on. That's cool. They're like the, you know, the drums, mm -hmm. the Okinawa drums. And let's see if we can get this. That'd be so cool. Take a little souvenir from here. Oh, that's cool. Dude, that's super cool. Yeah, it's like a little Coca-Cola oh, Coca thing and then the Okinawa drums. That that's yeah, super cool. that's super cool. That's a big Okinawa thing, these drums. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's just more K-Car yeah. stuff at the back here. Worth a shot and see yeah, here. I imagine like anything that was in these yards that was like you know yeah. Japanese sports cars like that. Worse, they right. probably just threw some wheels on and put it in the auction and it got a grade four or something. Absolutely. You know? Like, oh, you know it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, not even joking. Probably like just like picked a car off with a kick the roof back out from a car sitting on it. Like oh she'll be right. You know? Send I love this spoiler. Yeah, I send it down to USS Nagoya, Nagoya and then, bam. Oh damn! Look at this guy. Stacking cars. Stacking cars, two on top of each other. That sketches me out. Skills though, right there. Yeah, that is skill.